Yarrow is a plant that often grows in open fields, open areas of forest, natural meadows, and alongside roads and trails and other areas of the such. It can be found through much of the United States and parts of Europe. It has one dangerous look-alike and that is poison hemlock, but once you get familiar with the two, they're very, fairly easy to tell apart. And here we have Yarrow. It's a fairly easy to identify plant. You can identify it by noticing the flowering tops are individual stems that connect each flower. The leaves, instead of resembling more of that of parsley, um, resemble more of that of a feather. The plant can grow two to three feet in height. The flowers are often yellow but can be pink. And it has a, uh, an almost medicinally kind of smell. Even if the tops aren't present, sometimes you can observe that the, uh, the leaflets will still be out of the ground. And the leaflets will be poking out of the ground even in the warmer months of uh, winter. As such, this plant is an extremely useful medicine. It can be used to treat uh, fever, cold, flu-like symptoms, gastrointestinal distress. Um, furthermore, the leaves and the tops of the plant can be mashed into a poultice and applied to wounds as an antiseptic and antifungal agent. The tops and the greens of the plant can also be mixed into salads as an additive for a little extra flavor and a little bit of extra nutritional value. This is a very useful plant and my favorite thing to do with it around this time of year, it's starting to get cold at night and it's a little bit warm in the day and it kind of messes with your immune system so you're a little bit more prone to getting sick. So what I like to do is I like to make a tea out of it. And my favorite thing to make a tea out of is just the leaves and the flowering tops. It has an interesting taste to it. Um, I find it the most pleasant while it's still warm. Be noted that you should not drink this more than twice a week or three consecutive days in a row. Uh, if you do that, you'll start to develop some photosensitivity and other similar issues. It's a diuretic, which means it does flush things out of you really quickly. And it does contain a mild psychotropic chemical in it and you can't get high off it but what it can do is help you go to sleep at night so if you're having a particular hard time sleeping or you know you're gonna have a hard time sleeping one particular night make a tea out of this and it'll actually help you sleep much like chamomile will so with that said this is yarrow this is one of my favorite wild medicinal herbs around here um, and anywhere that I go for that matter consult a local field guide get familiar with poison hemlock and this plant so you do not misidentifying because poison hemlock will kill you if you eat it you consume it in any way with that said guys thank you for watching if you'd like subscribe and comment if you haven't already or you're new to the channel hit the bell icon down below you'll get notified every time I upload a new video you can stay on top of my videos better thank you guys for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one